y'all Sam here and it is time for another Dia and Co unboxing this is my box for April so it looks like Kira is my same stylist my last box from her was amazing like I feel like she's really starting to understand what I like unfortunately I got super busy and I didn't have time to film that for you guys um but it was really good just in case you're not familiar with DN Co, DN Co is a clothing subscription. You pay $20, they style five items, they send them to you, you pick which ones you like and you send the other ones back. Postage is paid for you. Um, if you keep all five items, then you get 25% off on all of the clothes, which is really cool. However, I wish they would make it like three items to get the discount, kind of like fashion has because I think that's a little bit more realistic than to spend $200 every single month on clothes. And you know, what's the chances that all five items are going to fit you perfectly. But I love Dia and I'm excited to see what they have in store for me this month. All right. So the first item in the box is this beautiful blouse. It has two little ties on it. Where did it go? See the other one. So it has two ties. So you can tie this in the front of the blouse and make a little bow or not. Um, you could probably tie it in the back too if you wanted to. We'll have to see which way it looks better when we try this on. But it does say it's a front knot. So it's supposed to go on the front. This shirt is from Molly Isadora and it is in a size 3X and it is $35. So I like that. This is actually affordable. Okay, so this is the floral blouse on. As you can see, it's got two ties here. So I believe you are supposed to tie it right here in the front. We'll just make a little bow. And there we go. All right, now that we have the blouse tied, I think it's definitely much more shapely. I always feel so awkward like walking in a circle, but I wanna be able to show you the back too. Um, I think it's a beautiful color. Love the pattern. Just curious if we were to tie this in the back, how I would feel about it. All right, so now we have it tied in the back. Yeah, I definitely like the shape of it better with it tied in the front. Okay, I love the pattern of this. I'm totally into the florals right now. What do you guys think? Is this a keeper? Okay, so next we have this blouse, which is beautiful, um, but it's very see-through. Let me see if I can show you on camera how see-through that is. You can see my hand right through it. So I would definitely have to wear an undershirt, which considering we're about to go into summer, I'm not 100% sure. That's something that I want to have to wear every single day. Um, and it's cream. It's really throwing off my white balance. Sorry, y'all. This blouse is by Ryan White and it is $49 and it is in a size 3X. I do feel like it'll be very professional though. All right, so here is the white tank on. I love the neckline, but as I suspected, it's a very see-through. You can see my stripey bra. It fits well, but I would definitely have to wear a cam under it. Let's try it on with a jacket. So if I was to keep this shirt, this is probably how I would wear it with a blazer to work. Obviously with a cami because it's pretty see-through, but I think it looks really nice. It's very professional. I'm just not sure if it's worth the price considering I'm gonna have to wear a jacket with it and an undershirt. And the shirt's already $50 to begin with. Hmm. I don't know, I have to think on this one. Okay, so this next item is a skirt. And this is a repurchase in a different pattern of that high-low skirt that I got a few months ago. I saw that they had a different pattern because now, if you don't know, you can pick three items that you want to try out. Um, so this was one that I picked. I got a size smaller this time though because the other one seemed a little bit big. Um, but I also love the way that one fits. So we'll see if the smaller size fits any better or if it's going to go back. And this skirt is from Downing Studios and it is in a size 2X and it is $59. Okay, so this is my repurchase wrap skirt. I already have one of these from them, um, but it's a faux wrap so it doesn't actually open up all the way. And the little tie right here doesn't do anything. It's just there for decoration. The skirt is a little bit of a high-low, so it's a little bit longer in the back. 
I love this pattern. As you can see here, it does have an underlined slip in it. And I felt like the other one just was a little bit looser. But this looks cute with this white tank. Don't you think? Okay, next I have a pair of Molly and Isadora stretch jeans. I got a pair of these in one of my first boxes and I absolutely love them. So when I saw that I could pick this in a darker wash and get these pants again, I decided to do that. My other ones are a little loose because I have those in a size 24. So I went ahead and sized down to a 22 and I'm hoping these fit a little bit better. These dark wash jeans are $65. Okay, so here are the jeans. I love these jeans. I feel like they fit so well. I think the 22 definitely fits better than the 24. Um, they're still very loose, like I can pull them, but the 24 just starts to ride down and I'm constantly pulling them back up, which I feel like these will sit in place a little bit better. And I love that it's a different wash. So it's not exactly the same thing. All right, next we have a cardigan. And this just looks to be a gray casual cardigan. It does have a little pleating right here on the back to gather it together. So that's a nice little detail. And this is from DC Jeans. And this cardigan is in a 2X and it retails for what? $56. $56 for this cardigan. Okay, so here's the cardigan. I think this is a very cute like boyfriend kind of cardigan. It's like sweatshirt material. It has pockets. I love pockets. So that makes me love this so very much. I also like that it has that like ruching right here in the back. Just makes it look a little bit more put together and a little less frumpy. The only thing is, is it is South Georgia. So I'm kind of thinking I might have to pass on the cardigan just because I'm not gonna be able to wear it till this fall, which is going to be like December for me. So I feel like it might just be a waste of my money right now. Maybe I should keep some more of the spring items. All right, let's recap this. So overall, Kira did an amazing job on my box. I really like all the items that I received. However, there are a few issues with some of the items, which are going to be why I'm not going to purchase them. The first one is this cardigan. Um, the reason I'm not going to purchase it is because it's in a size 2X and I think that a 3X would be more comfortable on me. I just felt like it didn't come around my breast area quite enough to be like loose and baggy. Also because it's $56 and it's already like 100 degrees outside. Well, not really. I think it's like 80 something, but it feels hot already. So I just don't see myself wearing that until next season. So why spend money on it now? The next item I'm not going to keep is this ruffle top. Okay, I can't hold it up because it really throws off my white balance, but this top is so cute and so beautiful. However, if it was lined, I'd probably keep it. But the fact that it's not lined, so I'm gonna have to layer, you know, my undergarments, a tank top, the shirt, and a jacket because it's sleeveless, that's just too much in the hot Georgia weather. So, so I'm not gonna pay the $50 for the shirt. Next is this a skirt. I'm considering keeping a skirt. I'm not 100% sure. I'm kind of on the fence because I do already have one like it, but I really do like this one too. So you guys let me know in the comments below if you guys think I should keep the skirt or if I should pass so I don't have like the same items in my wardrobe. You know, my wardrobe's kind of huge already. Uh, let's talk about the items I'm definitely going to keep. I am definitely going to keep this blouse. This was very comfortable. I think it's probably 100% polyester, but it's like a breathable polyester. And I think that it is just very comfortable, work appropriate, casual appropriate, and just looks very put together. Okay, and these jeans. Oh my gosh, I'm totally keeping these jeans. I love them, they fit amazing. Molly Isadora bootcut jeans are by far my favorite jeans now. Um, I really wouldn't mind getting a couple more color variations in that pant because I like it so very much. Now let's talk cost. If I keep the jeans and the top, then the total cost is $100. Minus the $20 styling fee that I already paid, I would have to pay an additional $80 to keep those two items. Now let's see if I add the skirt, how much that will bring my total to. So if I keep the skirt, that's $65, so that'll bring my total to $145 altogether. Hmm, not too bad for three items, but I don't know. Okay, I really do need you guys' help. Leave a comment below on which items you think I should purchase or let go. 
Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching me try these items on. I always look forward to your feedback and until next time, bye y'all.